Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about wireless AC. What kind of adapters work with it? What kind of adapters are optimized for it? And what is the best performance we can expect out of this new wireless technology capable of operating at, in theory, over one gigabit per second? Now, if you guys are confused by the way that hardware manufacturers label the speeds of their routers and adapters, you're not the only one. They're often talking in terms of the theoretical maximum speed of all the channels and all the bands and all the standards combined. So this AC1750 router has AC1300 megabit per second and N450 megabit per second functionality. So those are combined. Unless you have a device on the other end that is capable of connecting to it at both AC and N all at the same time, you aren't going to get that entire theoretical maximum. Also, with any wireless connection, there's a lot of overhead in terms of error correction and uh, interference and all those other things as well. So, we're going to be having a look at these two AC devices as well as a legacy N450 device that can connect to this guy. And finally, a media bridge that runs at full AC mode to see how things go. This guy right here, as I said before, is 1300 AC, 450N. And this guy right here is 867 AC and 300N. So let's find out how they perform in the real world. Now the solutions we have here today are pretty unique because it should be noted that there's quite a few AC routers out there, but D-Link's USB adapter is the first wireless AC USB adapter. So let's find out how it compares to the competition. Now to create a scenario where it's realistic and where it represents what people actually want to do with AC technology, we went with two large file transfers. So we did about one gigabyte of total file transfer over wireless with two smaller files and then timed it to find out which is the best solution. It is a bit of a best case scenario because we are within a, a single room. However, it should be noted that there is a fair bit of interference in here. So solution number one, this is AC USB. So this is our D-Link adapter right here versus an AC media bridge. So that's basically another router. So it's running full AC balls to the walls technology. It's also just as big as a router. And finally, versus an older N450 USB adapter. Remember guys, USB is limited to 480 megabit per second, so we were a little skeptical about how fast this AC adapter would manage to be. So time in seconds, less is better. The media bridge destroyed the other two solutions, transferring a gig of files in under 30 seconds, whereas the AC USB adapter and the N USB adapter actually performed very similarly. So this brings us to a couple of conclusions about AC. So number one is that if it takes you know, this big of a piece of hardware to put an AC radio inside and all the hardware you need, then you're probably not putting something that strong in here. And number two is that if you're upgrading to an AC router, you want to make sure you get one that has a fast N antenna in it as well, because most of your devices at home are still going to be N, not AC, and you want to make sure that you're getting full advantage of that N450 because, as you can see, compared to modern solutions, it's still just as fast as AC. That will change in the future though. This is just a slightly different way of representing the data that we had on the previous page. So this shows in terms of megabytes per second. The AC media bridge was almost 40 megs per second. The AC USB adapter copied at 9.3 megabytes per second and the N450 adapter was at 10.76 megabytes per second. So the conclusion's pretty simple. Does this D-Link router rock the house? Can it transfer wirelessly sustained at almost 40 megabytes per second, way faster than previous generation technology? Absolutely. Are the adapters there yet to fully take advantage of it? The answer is unfortunately no, but we're expecting the situation to change, especially as more devices start getting AC technology implemented in them. And you do have the option of buying something like a media bridge, which can connect multiple devices to take advantage of that wireless connection, so you can really utilize it. And for, don't forget guys, AC has other advantages in that it operates on the five gigahertz band, which while the range is slightly smaller, does provide less interference or does accept less interference from the surroundings around it. Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.